Okay. Eller igen. Nå ja. Yeah, I think without a doubt, um, probably a win, at least a draw. Um, I think we created enough in the game. Not not lots of fantastic chances, but good chances, and obviously a penalty. And uh, and then we concede, I think, from the one shot on target. So uh, a harsh lesson in Champions League football. I think a game that we we played pretty well in, um, and we lose it. So. Um, Good news is we've got five more games to go in the group, but uh, we, we should have got more tonight. Bueno, con, ¿cuáles son las sensaciones que tienes? ¿Crees que el Chelsea debería haber sacado algo del partido? Sí, es indudable. Probablemente deberíamos haber ganado y por lo menos empatado el partido. Creo que creamos las ocasiones necesarias y también tuvimos el penalti. Lo encajamos el 1-0 en el único tiro que tuvieron. Eh, ellos, así que es una, pues es una lección del fútbol de la Champions. Creo que jugamos bastante bien, pero acabamos perdiendo el partido. Lo bueno es que tenemos cinco partidos eh, en la Champions en, el fase de grupo, en la fase de grupos para recuperar. Matt. Uh, Frank, should Ross take the penalty? And also, do you know whether Jorginho and William were actually trying to ask to take it? Uh, Ross, is, Ross is the penalty taker. Um, was pre-season, scored a couple, has been when he started and was today when he came on and he missed it, so um, that was a clear story. Just on top of it though, just in terms of what Jorginho and, and William were saying to him, do you know whether they were actually trying to ask Yeah, to take I don't know what the conversation was, but Jorginho and William were penalty takers on pitch. When Ross comes on, he becomes a penalty taker and, and he missed it. That'd be fun. Crees que uh, Ross Barkley debería haber tirado el penalti y si Jorginho y William le estaban pidiendo poder tirarlo ellos. Bueno, vos es el que tira los penaltis, lo hizo durante la pretemporada, marcó algunos, también lo ha hecho esta temporada cuando ha jugado, hoy ha fallado y bueno, no sé lo que le estaba diciendo Jorginho y William, pero es que cuando está Ross Barkley en el campo es el que tira los penaltis. How is Mason's injury so far, and will this injury uh, affect the game plan in the future? Uh, he's got an ankle injury, which uh, we don't know how bad it is. Uh, we'll have to assess it over the next 24, 48 hours to see the, the scale of the injury, um, to see yeah how, how the injury is. So it's too too soon to say, but it's an ankle injury, and obviously it was a shame because he was playing so well and. Started the game well, and uh, we had to make a change early. ¿Cómo está Mason Mount? Bueno, es una lesión de tobillo. No sé eh, la dimensión de la de la lesión. Tendremos que evaluarlo durante los los próximos 24, 48 horas. Pues es una pena porque lo estaba haciendo bien en el campo y tuvimos que hacer el cambio. Sí. Yeah, he's in the plans. We've got a squad. We've got uh, wingers to choose from, and the way we're playing. And uh, with Pedro's experience in the Champions League, it was a choice to make. But uh, Christian's well in the plans. Um, entra Christian Pulisic en tus planes? Uh, sí, claro que sí. Tenemos una plantilla. Tenemos jugadores de la banda. Hoy uh, decidí ponerle a Pedro porque tiene más experiencia en la Champions. Tony, when you've got Neil away and Ajax away now. It's a what was a tough group's looking even tougher now, isn't it? Yeah, for sure, and I think that's the the reality of losing a game at home. First game um, makes those games more important, particularly if they come back to back away from home. So um, we need to obviously have league games in the meantime, but have strong focus on those games to try and get a result in one of those two games before we make it really really tough for ourselves. But in context, it's still one game done. It's still a group that I think teams. We'll take points off each other because it's uh, all the teams are strong and will fancy themselves to take points off each other. So there's uh, there's certainly no reason to be too downbeat now. But yeah, in awareness, we need to win games. Los próximos partidos en la Champions son fuera de casa en Lille y Ajax. Pues el grupo se ha puesto más difícil, ¿no? Sí, esa es la realidad de perder el primer partido en casa en la Champions. Quiero decir que esos partidos son más importantes. 
tenemos que estar muy enfocados para sacar un resultado en alguno de esos partidos porque si no eso significaría complicarnos la vida mucho pero a la vez es solo un partido y creo que los equipos en este grupo son buenos pero también van a perder puntos así que sí tenemos que estar muy enfocados en ese en esos partidos okay last two Dan and then Ian I didn't hear them, but the same message I've said quite a few times this season. Chelsea is a club. We have initiatives. We are very clear about where our standing point is on on any chance, races chance at this ground or any ground, um, and I'll reiterate that clearly. Hubo dos curros eh, hoy discriminatorios. Mm, sabes que la UEFA puede cerrar una parte del estadio, así que qué mensaje tienes para, para los aficionados que hicieron esos curros. Bueno, no podí oír uh, las, los curros, pero vuelvo a decir lo que dije antes. El Chelsea es un club que tiene iniciativas y que tra trabaja mucho en contra de la discriminación, así que es respaldar ese, ese mensaje otra vez. Ok, last question. Yeah. Uh, Frank, Liverpool of the weekend, is that just what you need to put this evening behind you? Ah, it's, it's a big game. It's um, off the back of a good result for us at Wolves. You know, this is a different competition. It wasn't a bad performance today at all. It was just a result that we now have to turn around in Champions League, but it doesn't change the uh, the fact that we're waiting for a very tough match. But the sort of game we're here for, the sort of game we're here for, they're playing so well at the minute. Best team in the country, obviously, on form. So a great test for us, and uh, yeah, I don't know if it's good timing. It's probably not the right way to say it at all, but um, we need to be ready for it. Are you surprised at the result of Napoli? No, it's Champions League. Um, of course, Liverpool are the current holders, and as I say, certainly one of the best teams in Europe, throughout the world at the moment. But anywhere in this Champions League, you go up into Napoli, lost pretty heavily there a good few years ago. Uh, tough stadium to go to, and. Um, Yeah, I'm not saying I'd, I expected them to lose, but in this competition, it's uh, it's difficult to win at those places. Este fin de semana toca Liverpool. Es lo que necesita el Chelsea para para poner este partido en el pasado. Bueno, es un gran partido. Lo hicimos muy bien frente a los Wolves, pero bueno, es una esta es una competición muy difícil. Hoy no ha sido una mala actuación, pero lógicamente el resultado no ha sido lo que queríamos. Eh, va a ser un partido difícil, pero es lo que queremos. ¿no? El Liverpool probablemente es uno de los mejores equipos en el país en este momento, así que será una buena prueba. No sé si es el mejor momento para, para jugarlo, pero bueno. Mmm, y si estás sorprendido por la derrota del Liverpool esta noche, no, porque esta es la Champions. Eh, lógicamente el Liverpool es el actual campeón de la Champions, pero puede pasar cualquier cosa en, en esta competición. Me recuerdo de un partido que perdimos eh, ahí en Nápoles es un estadio muy difícil, así que bueno, eh, siempre es difícil hacerlo en la Champions y pueda pasar de cualquier cosa en esta competición. Ok, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.